Hello, hello, beautiful beings of light. I am just going to wait just a few breaths. Hi, Carrie. Thanks for joining. Hi, Somatic Healer. As you're coming in, um, just let me know who you are, where you are coming in from. Hi, everyone. Oh, it's so good to be here with you. Hi, Lindsay, Melissa, Sandy, Randy. Hi, everyone. So just introduce yourself as you come in. Hi, Sarah. Just let us know who you are, what brings you here. Hi, Stephanie. I'm so excited to be here with you today. Hey, Robin. Yeah, hi, everyone. So I'm so excited to be here with you today because we are on day one of Embody and Receive. So this is a three-day healing and expansion experience on how to grow your business in resonance with your nervous system. And then we're going to be going over kind of the three pillars of what I think about when I'm working with my clients and really how I approach my own business growth. So if you are here and you don't know what I'm talking about, you can still register um, for this experience by going to the link in my bio and you can join us. Um, but by now you should have gotten your meditation, your workbook, all of the good things. If you haven't had a chance to dive into that, no worries at all. You can just come here and get the information. But I do highly suggest that if nothing else, you do the meditation experience because this work is so much about feeling things in the body. And so if we had to choose to do one thing, I would invite you to do the meditation. Sarah just did the meditation. Beautiful. Hi, Samantha. So if you didn't get a chance to do that yet, that's okay. You can do it after the live. Um, I just really invite you into the material because your experience is going to be informed by not just the information here, but the experience that you have within yourself, which is really a, the power of growing your business from your nervous system. Information is amazing. It's so amazing. And if we don't know how to apply the information and embody the information within ourselves, it's not going to create a lot of change for us. And my intention here with you today is for you to feel a shift, for you to understand something differently, for you to feel differently, for you to feel empowered, for you to really find avenues of how you can shift what you are doing in your business in order for it to align with your nervous system. Because that's really the way that I've seen business grow the most profitably, the most sustainably, the most pleasurably, and the most easefully for folks. And I am really here to support women to help grow their businesses in profitable ways, but in a way that honors your life and your pleasure and your ease. So that's what we are talking about here today. So I just wanna anchor us in a little bit before I dive into the information. Um, what I wanna say before I get into any of the information is this is probably going to be one of the more robust days because this is essentially day one is the entire framework that I use. And we're gonna be going, diving a little bit deeper each day moving forward, but this is probably going to be like the most information that you're gonna receive. So it's pretty packed full. And what I just want to anchor you into is you don't need to like hear all of it right now. Take what comes through for you and sit with it and apply it in your business. Um, and then you can come back to the replay and listen to it again so that your body can kind of process it with time. So you don't need to take vigorous notes, like do whatever works for you, but just kind of telling you ahead of time, it's just going to be packed full of information. And what I would love for you to also do is if you have a pen and paper handy, um, go ahead and write down any questions that pop up as I'm talking. So it's really great for you to just write those down as I am chatting. 
And then what I want to do at the end is to have space for a Q&A. And I might actually do the Q&A on a separate live just because um, if my Instagram live goes over an hour, it like won't download onto my phone. <laughs> so, um, hi Liz, mm, love you. Um, so depending kind of where we are with time, I might actually open up a separate channel for the Q&A. So hold your questions until the end um, because that's when I'm probably gonna be the most focused to answer them for you. And um, some of your questions might be answered throughout the course of the live. So um, in the Q&A, I do invite you to engage with me because I actually love engaging with all of you. Like I like hearing, you know, what questions are coming up, any comments that are arising. So feel free to comment during um, the live. Just write down the comments that you really want me to anchor into and reply to in the Q&A section. So. If you do not know who I am, I'll just do a really brief introduction. Um, my name is Anna Kinkela. I am a somatic business and leadership coach. Um, I'm also an energetic alchemist for leaders. So I really do a combination of healing and soul strategy work for women who are building their businesses. And um, it's a combination of really embodiment, working with your body, helping you to feel safer and safer to be seen as your full self, and also like really healing the receiving wound. That's one of the biggest things that I notice for women when I'm working with them. We all have receiving wounds. And one of the biggest focuses that I have in all of my containers is healing the receiving wound and helping you to receive on all levels, right? So yes, money, yes, clients, but also like receiving love, receiving all that you desire on higher and higher, deeper and deeper levels. So it's both this internal shift into receiving and also the external receiving as well, right? They go hand in hand. So, um, yeah, and I work with women. I have my little computer here to like prompt me because it is so easy for me to lose my way. So know that if I'm glancing here, it's at my computer. Um, so I work with a lot of different kinds of women, but I essentially either work with women who are coming to me because they've been building their business, they've kind of tried a lot of strategies, tried a lot of things, did the mindset, um, did the meditation, did all the stuff but it doesn't feel like it's fully clicking. So maybe they're making some money in their business, but something's not fully aligning. They kind of feel like they're running in place. And so they really come to me looking for this like deeper level of healing and also finding a different way of building their business, right? There's so many different kinds of solutions out there in the coaching world for how to be successful in your business. And a lot of them include um, kind of one size fits all strategies for folks. And that is really the opposite of what I do. I'm helping you build your soul strategy through your body and in alignment with your body, right? Um, the other kind of client that I usually get is maybe women who have been in their business for a while. They have a lot of financial success, but they're really looking to receive internally. So they're looking to really invite more pleasure and ease in how they are in their business. Wanting to invite clients in with more ease and more pleasure and also just wanting to experience that more in their life. And so it's either or and both and, right? So that's who I work with. So... This is for you if you want to grow your business differently than what you've been taught. You are ready to really receive more and also in alignment with your pleasure and your ease. The nervous system is a beautiful blueprint for you. It lays out your path to embodied success. And so today we are going to be talking about kind of this larger umbrella understanding of the nervous system and how I understand that that relates to business growth. I'm not going to go into talking about the nitty gritty of the nervous system because there's so many books that you can access on that topic. I'm more here to talk about how we apply it. Um, but one of the things that I will just start off with as an intro to the nervous system is we have a parasympathetic response and a sympathetic response. The parasympathetic is that rest and relaxation. The sympathetic is kind of like what helps you get up in the morning, right? And um, when our nervous system is in overdrive, 
we switch into an unhealthy expression of the parasympathetic or an unhealthy expression of the sympathetic nervous system, right? And so what we're really talking about here is we're shifting into the fight, flight, or freeze response or fawn response, which we're going to talk about because the fawn response is actually huge for women who are building their businesses. I think I still fawn. I mean, we all still fawn, but this is such a huge piece of feeling safe to be seen and kind of fitting ourselves into boxes. A lot of that is happening in that fawn response in the nervous system. So we're here to really honor both our healthy expression of parasympathetic and sympathetic response. And we're also here to prevent our bodies from building our businesses from the fight, flight, freeze, or fawn response right? Because a healthy nervous system is one that can receive fully. So when your nervous system is highly activated, fight, flight, freeze, fawn response, um, basically your system is closed. It's closing, right? It's contracting. It's in a type of survival mode. And, you know, back when humans first started populating the earth, this was an adaptive strategy, right? It helped us to survive. But in the world that we're in, not everything, most things are not about survival. Yet, we are a society that is highly activated in our nervous system response, right? And so a lot of us are really walking around with um, a closed nervous system. And so this is about opening the nervous system, opening ourselves to be seen more, to receive more from this place of rest and relaxation, so working less but receiving more, and also doing it more easily. You can build a business in a flight, fright, flight or freeze or, well, you can build a business in a fight or flight response, right? And a lot of people do, and they make a lot of money, right? But then the question is, a lot of people reach kind of like an income plateau with that, right? And this is kind of where my work comes in as well. When people reach an income plateau, I'm usually looking at like, where are we in the nervous system? How can we actually open more to receive more? How can we relax the nervous system? Um, or they have been grinding and working and chasing and doing, doing, doing to the point of burnout. I know so many coaches that I hired very early on in my business that no longer are coaches, that no longer have businesses because they completely burnt out. And I'm sure that there's more reason to that. Maybe it wasn't what they wanted to be doing anymore, but there was definitely burn, huge burnout happening in this industry. And so we really need to shift the paradigm of how we grow our businesses because you actually receive more by having an open nervous system, right? There's a place for things to come into your body, into your life. When your nervous system is closed, you are operating from the neck up and you are just focused on the goal of higher income, more clients, without connection to your sole purpose, without connection to why you're actually building your business. Entrepreneurs don't start a business in order to work more than they did in their nine to five. However, most entrepreneurs actually shift into doing that right? I see coaches who are working 12 hour days, seven days a week, right? And the whole point for a lot of people has been to really build a business that gives us financial freedom and that gives us time freedom. And the exact opposite happens for people when they enter into their business. And so building your business in resonance with your nervous system is actually creating space for that to happen is actually about actualizing that dream of why you got into entrepreneurship. So when our system is closed, we're operating from this, and this is by the way, just programmed into us. Like I walked into my business and this is how I started operating in my business, right? We live in a culture that normalizes being busy, right? That normalizes working, being a workaholic essentially, and not having any time for life, for pleasure, for ease. And we're going to talk about pleasure and ease in the other days. But like this is embedded in our collective nervous system. It is something that we all actively have to heal within ourselves. 
Like I'm a very chilled out person, but when it came to my business, I was like, let's go, let's work and grind and chase and do the thing and hustle. Right. And it took me really coming back to this remembrance of like, oh, right. Like I actually get to receive much more quality and much more if I allow myself to honor my body. Right. So this is what we're shifting by building our businesses this way. We're allowing ourselves to shift our individual and collective nervous system into a different way of receiving in this world. And so this is my movement. This is what I'm so passionate about helping people to do. So in terms of like some basics about the nervous system for you to know, um, parasympathetic, sympathetic, you can definitely find tons of places that talk about this. Um, but what I want to talk about is think about your nervous system as an imprint. It's an energetic imprint, right? And it's an energetic imprint of past selves, present self, and future self possibilities. So they are just different energies that exist in your body. Most of the time, if we are in reaction mode, like a strong reaction mode, the energy of a past self has jumped into our energetic field, is being activated in our nervous system, and we are reacting and responding in the moment, right? When we are accessing like the energy of the future self in meditation, you are feeling a future potential timeline. And one of the things that I have on a quote card that people really resonated with is that the only difference between your current self and the future self, right, that's um, abundant, that is, you know, joyful, that has a lot of clients and money and everything that she desires, is your nervous system state. That is the only difference because you are already that future self. It's not about you fixing or being better than you are. No, it's just about you doing this nervous system healing and expansion work, right? And so this is why the meditation that you had for today was about helping you to attune to your present day nervous system and helping you to attune to your future self nervous system and helping you to actually merge those two things. So it's an energetic meditation and that's why I really recommend that you do it because when you're growing your business with your nervous system, it's all about your level of attunement with your body and being able to differentiate, this is my fight or flight response, this is where I'm getting to the edge of my response, right? And this is where I am stepping into the future self response, right? And so we're actually gonna talk about that in a lot of detail as I go through some of these basics because this is actually the foundation of how I grow my business and how I teach other people to do it. Um, and it comes down to the upper limit of the nervous system. So we're going to talk about that in depth. Um, but really, if you think about your nervous system as an imprint, it's basically just showing you the pathway. It's showing you what you need to heal, what needs to be released, right? It's showing you the energy that you want to expand into. And so all that you are doing is you're anchoring, you're becoming aware of where you are and you're anchoring your body into that future self portal, into that future self reality. I don't do mindset work. I never have. I, I'm not going to say I hate mindset work, but like this is not a practice that I enjoy because I've had coaches who've told me like, write out the positive thought you want to affirm like 30, 50 times in your notebook. And you know what? That did absolutely nothing for me. It's a top down approach to you changing and shifting your responses, right? To you changing and shifting into the future self or like awakening her, right? And really this is about taking a bottom up approach. We are working with your felt sense, right? Change happens through your somatic attunement and it happens through your felt sense. It does not happen through your thinking mind. I was a therapist for 10 years and I pretty much did all of my own healing work from the neck up. And guess what? Nothing really changed. Like I was still in the same job. I still wasn't doing the things that I really wanted to do. It wasn't until I jumped into entrepreneurship that I was like, 
holy shit, of course, like this is about me working through my own body. And the thing is I used to facilitate like healing, trauma healing for people through their body and I hadn't applied it to myself in that way. And so it's so powerful when you actually switch into your felt sense because we have so many protections against feeling like so many protections. We don't actually feel when we receive something, even if it's like a coffee from someone or a smile, like we don't fully allow the feeling state into our nervous system because we live in a world that's taught us to protect ourselves. And so we have all of these energetic barriers to feeling it, right? And so the more that you can actually come into your felt sense, the more that you can allow yourself to feel it, to understand and feel your shadow, like the shadow, the contraction that's happening in your body. Can you describe it to me? What does it feel like to hold it, right? And then what does it feel like for your future self to be present in your body? What does that feel like, right? As I have so many clients that as soon as we tune in to the felt sense, the contraction starts to lessen in their body right? It's the energy that begins to move. And all it requires is your attention and attunement. So it really is a part of your brain that you have to exercise. I work with a lot of embodiment coaches, right? And um, they are folks who are already so attuned to their body. They're amazing, right? And still, we have this programming of like, It doesn't feel safe to be here. We're always going deeper in the body. I'm always going deeper in the body and feeling more and more safe in my body. So the way that you change and shift and transform is through your felt sense. So allow yourself, instead of really anchoring into mindset, anchor into the feeling sense first. How would it feel if there's a mindset that you want to have? How would it feel for me to actually receive at this level, to have this mindset? What would this reality look like and feel like? Feel it first and just allow the affirmation to be an anchoring point of that feeling. That's how I use mindset now. I have sticky notes here and they're just anchor points, right? When I go into meditation, I'm not even focused on going up here. I'm actually focused on being here and allowing my body to receive allowing my body to feel what it would be like to invite in 10 people into my program. Like, can I hold that in my body? Does it feel safe for me to hold that in my body? We're going to talk about the receiving wound tomorrow where I'm going to dive deep into this piece. But that's my work. That's my practice. I'm holding things in my body and letting it expand through my root center. So I got a little bit off topic because now I'm going into day two. But... um, let me get back on track here. Um, the other piece that I just think it's really important to mention about nervous system growth is that this is how you open up quantum portals in your business. And I know we talk about like quantum receiving and like everyone's talking about quantum jumping And maybe none of you know what that means. Maybe some of you know what it means. Um, But the reason I bring this up is because I think it's actually really important to, instead of like approaching your business growth from like how quickly can I grow it, it's more about coming into resonance with your body and allowing your body to lead the growth. You are not going to feel safe to receive 200k in your business in one month if you still don't feel safe with receiving 2k in your business right like there is your body has to feel safe to receive that even if it's a little bit of a stretch the reason why you know people sell you this kind of stuff where you're like go from zero to 10k a month And, you know, like, I think that's great if people get those results, amazing. But more often than not, what I see happening is like, you can't actually go from zero to 10K. And if someone does, what I will bet you is that they've done a ton of work before actually landing that 10K all at once. A lot of energetic work, right? A lot of groundwork in their business. 
And so when we're talking about quantum leaping, we're actually talking about accessing like soul timeline in your body and getting your body to the point where it trusts your soul enough to surrender more quickly. Okay? Getting your body to a point where it trusts your soul enough to surrender to the wisdom more quickly. When I started surrendering to what my soul was telling me more quickly, that is when I saw quantum level growth. I actually did go from like 2K to 12K in my business within one month. And it's not because it was a miracle. It was because I had been doing the energetic work. I had been laying the groundwork. I had been showing up right? And so it wasn't a miracle. It was just like me doing the energetic work, right? Me working with my body. And so what I am here to tell you that like your quick results are a result of you doing this kind of work. And so the quantum portal of receiving is just a soul timeline. And so when you are able to discern in your body the difference between soul, the difference between fear and safety and trust and you're able to actually like i'll just give you an example the way that i invest now is so different than the way that i invested before nowadays when i work with a mentor i just have an intuitive hit i'm meant to work with them i don't consume any of their con like very little of their content I just feel it in my body that I meant to work with them. I message them and say, hey, I want to work with you. They're like, cool. And I sign up through them through DMs. I don't even have a phone call anymore because I am just surrendering to what I feel in my body. When I started, that wasn't the case at all, right? There's a buildup that happens in your nervous system to be able to trust and surrender. But like that is really just one avenue through which you can see how your trust builds. And the number one ingredient to exponential business growth is your level of self-trust, hands down. If there is one ingredient you need, it is self-trust. If I didn't trust myself, I would never have invested in my business. I would have never started this business. I never would have kept going when nothing seemed to be working. It is the only thing that has kept me here that has kept me to the level of growth that I'm at. So being able to grow your business through your nervous system is actually you building your capacity to trust yourself. Because when we trust our bodies, when we trust the wisdom of what it tells us, even when it's like completely opposite of what our ego wants us to do, sometimes it means actually saying no to a client and saying no thank you right? Sometimes it means not launching something and just scratching the whole thing and saying, actually, my body doesn't feel good with this. Sometimes it's postponing your launch, even if you've, you're afraid that you're going to disappoint people, right? I postponed this launch and I was afraid of that. I was like, gosh, I already told all these people I was going to do it and now I'm not going to do it. And like, what are they going to think? Right? And because I did that, because I honored my nervous system, my energy, I had eight times the people register for the event right? And I actually got my energy behind the event fully, right? I was, in, I was burning out. I didn't feel good. I needed time to tend to this energetic system. So what you think is slowing down is actually you speeding up. Sometimes I say like, slow it down even more. Let your launches be slow. Let yourself actually feel your launch and enjoy your launch because I guarantee you more people will come into the container if you do. I am such an advocate of slow launching if that feels good in your body. It's always attuning to your body. So it's when you are able to actually, if you invite the felt sense of what the paradigm that you're inviting in, right? If you invite that felt sense, and then allow your perspective of your business, of your launch, of your offering to inform how you take action, your soul strategy, right? That is when you're going to start to see results in your business. And part of what I see happening for people is they, they shift into this, um, like the automatic response of like, oh, this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to launch and my launch period is supposed to be this long and then I'm supposed to do this and then I'm supposed to do this. 
And it's like, great, I have a general framework that I give to my clients of like, this is generally what you want to do to nurture an audience. And then we get to play in the field of possibility and be like, okay, well, well, how does that feel to do that? Can you check in with your body and tell me what does that feel like? Are you excited by that? Are you scared by that? What is going on there? That's your barometer, right? And then you adapt the strategy based on that. That's how you embody. I wouldn't have been able to embody this message two weeks ago because I was tired. I had too many things on my plate. I wouldn't have been able to open my channel and deliver this message to you because my system was closed. I could not receive anything, right? This is how your creative expression comes through so your people can find you. This is how many clients, all of it. it it's the nuts and bolts of every part of your business, right? Um, so the other piece that I wanna mention before I go into the upper limit is that one of the things that I think is super important in your business is that you're doing healing work, right? And most business containers actually don't have space for that. They're very strategy like this is how you grow your business. One of the things that happens when you grow your business with your nervous system, it is like healing, not because you need to fix yourself, but because you're trying to reveal yourself more, right? Magnetism, happens through you being you and we have a ton i didn't talk about like past energies in your body but past energies of your in your body are different types of traumas in your body and sometimes when i use that word um people uh, think about like car crashes sexual assault like you know loss of parents and things like that and it is absolutely those things but it is also some, what you know, people in the trauma world call smaller T traumas. And smaller T traumas can be really anything. You know, a lot of people when we come to the fawn response in the nervous system, so fawn is you're trying to fit in, right? You're, it's kind of like um, you are camouflaging yourself in your environment so you're not found out, so you're not rejected, so people love you, right? And women are conditioned into the fawn response. We are conditioned to please. We're conditioned to be the nice girl. And so it is very hard generally for women to be seen out in the world, to show themselves in the world. And it's primarily because of that fawn response. And so the fawn response is also informed by like past trauma that you've experienced. Um, and women typically experience um, a larger percentage of trauma in our world. So without going so much into the healing, cause we could talk about, like I could talk about this topic for hours. Um, basically the imprints in your nervous system that are past traumas, it can be relational traumas and we'll actually talk about that in the receiving piece, but relational traumas in terms of like, you know, maybe your caregiver wasn't as present for you when you were growing up. And that taught you not to ask for your needs, right? And sometimes all of these things, they're stuck, right? They're stuck in our energy system, in our nervous system. That's part of the imprint that we have. And so working with our felt sense and inviting in a different kind of relating, right, is what helps to, we have to clear that from the nervous system in order to invite a different imprint into our system. So the meditation is also imprinting something different for you, a different feeling. Most of the women that I work with, when we get to a part in the, in the experience where they feel ease in their body, they tell me that's so foreign. That's so foreign to me. That's so strange. I've never felt that before. And I think that that tells you the magnitude at which we are operating, right? If we don't even know what ease feels like, then how can we begin to establish it in our business and in our life? You have to be able to feel it to access it in the energy field first, right? And so when I see people even trying to, you know, build their business with ease, with more ease, they usually do it by different strategies and different systems. And yes, those things are important. I am doing that as well in my business to make it more easeful. However, if you have never felt ease in your body or have rarely felt ease in your body, the perspective through which you look at your strategy and your systems is being informed by your felt sense. 
And so if you do not have access to a different perspective in your system, you will continue to repeat the same patterns over and over again as you build your business, right? So imagine if you felt ease in your nervous system, how differently you might decide in terms of your systems and the support people and the strategy that you use. And not only that, but if you build all of that out and you don't actually feel ease within yourself, then what is the actual point, right? You can make a process feel different, but does it actually shift the way that you are in your life? right? And this is about building business from the inside out. It's not just about something looking good. It's actually about something feeling good for you. That's the whole point. And for you to also create impact and you can actually do both. And sometimes we exist in this either or either I build this really successful business and, you know, I never have time for anything and, you know, there's no pleasure, there's no ease or I have pleasure and ease, but I'm not making any money. And you can actually have all of it. You can have both. That's the whole point. That's what we're here to do through this perspective. Um, okay, now I want to talk about um, the upper limit in your nervous system. Because this is the entire way that I actually, in my mind, in my body, understand other people's businesses and how I make decisions, how I move forward in my own business. So we're also going to talk about like magnetism and all those pieces in other days, but you should have gotten a handout in your email. And um, when you opened it, you might have been like, what is this? Because there's no explanation other than (laughs) nervous system equals um, your energy. Right. And so I want to explain this piece just a little bit because it relates to your upper limit. Um, So I don't actually have the sheet of paper with me because I don't have a printer and we're in lockdown, so couldn't print it out anywhere. But if you access it in your email, I'm going to describe it now. There's like, um, you know, a couple of like outlines of people, four different outlines, and there's coloring in the middle of each person. And then you see kind of like these little waves around the person's body. So essentially when we're doing, when we're growing your business in this way and healing your nervous system, what you're going to see is the red and the orange decreasing with time and the green, blue, and violet colors, which are kind of representative, um, like higher vibrations. Um, and by like, I don't, there's no good or bad with low or high vibrations. They just are. So I just want to clarify that you don't have to be in a high vibration all the time in order to attract. So just want to tell you that this is just a very simplified representation with time. What we're doing is we're actually healing the nervous system to the point where you are maintaining a certain energy, where you are holding a certain energy. Right. And it's not dependent on your day to day moods and your day to day feelings. Just want to be clear on that, because there's a lot of things in the personal development industry that talk about, oh, you can't think bad thoughts or else you won't attract. And that is not true. Not true at all. Right. The nervous system healing piece is about us actually releasing, releasing the things that have burned us for a really long time and embedding and rewiring right? And unless a huge traumatic event happens to you, you just maintain that, right? This is how you grow through your nervous system with time. And so the more that you show yourself, the more that your nervous system opens and heals and expands, the brighter your energy, the more seen that you are, right? You're sharing from a different space. You're showing up feeling more safe and more confident with um, your pricing, with your clients, with your message, with all of it. Right. And that's where your magnetism increases. Yeah. And so that's all the graphic is trying to show. And this is where the upper limit in your nervous system comes up. The upper limit is basically how safe your body feels in order to do expand, receive in a certain way. Right. And so if you had known me when I started my business, I would not have been showing up on a live. I would have been like hiding somewhere. I would have been breathing. I would have been turning red. And like I used to 
not be able to do public speaking at all. Like my voice would start trembling. Like it was a mess. It was a mess, right? And at that point, when I had just started my business, I did not feel safe to be seen. I was afraid I was gonna say something wrong. I was afraid people were gonna judge me and people were gonna say, like, you don't know anything that you're talking about. You suck, whatever, right? And at this point in my business, I'm kind of like, I feel good about what I'm talking about. If you don't like it, that's cool. You don't have to be here. Thanks for coming anyway. And like, I am feeling safe with people rejecting me and not agreeing with me, right? It was not always that way. And so my upper limit has shifted with being seen, yeah? And I'm gonna tell you how to shift your upper limit. We're gonna talk about that. But the same is true, the same is true for your clients, the number of clients that you have, the amount of money that you make, right? How you launch, how many times a year you launch, you are just extending your upper limit. And that is what the graphic actually shows is someone extending their upper limit through time. And that is actually what momentum is. Momentum is not sustained in your business through your constant doing if it's unaligned doing, right? Momentum in your business is sustained through this progression of your upper limit. Hi, Kara. Thanks for joining. So that is really momentum. And so many entrepreneurs are afraid of losing momentum because they're not doing all the time. When it's more about feeling what's aligned for you, doing when it feels aligned, and taking rest when you need to replenish. Your momentum maintains because of that energetic shift in your nervous system, right? And so it this kind of like, mindset around maintaining momentum all the time actually keeps people in this like, I have to post, I have to show up, I have to do And like, yes, you do have to show up for your business. And if you do it in ways that are misaligned with your nervous system, the energy has no opportunity to, to travel. It's much more effective energetically and efficiency wise for me when I post, when I show up, when I am fully in my body and I'm feeling rejuvenated because I have like five times the impact, the energetic impact. And that was so clearly depicted to me once again through me delaying my launch, right? I had eight times more people register because I honored my energy and because I allowed things to actually channel through me. My momentum was reinforced through me honoring my body. And that is how you increase your momentum, right? It's not about just doing because for the sake of it, it's about like, what does it mean for me to be consistent in my business? And this is a really important question for every entrepreneur. You do have to have consistency, but what that means for your energetic system is going to be different than what it means for someone who's a generator, if you know human design. Generators are energetic beings. They have tons of energy. They operate at a whole different level. I'm a manifester. I don't have internal energy sources in the way that a generator does. My consistency looks very different from that person. So you have to tune to what does it mean for me to be consistent in my business? And you do that through the body. You ask, right? What feels good for you? And then you'll start to understand. You'll start to get into a rhythm. You'll start to sync with it more and more. So um, let's talk about how you can move your upper limit. And so again, this is how I approach my business growth. Um, Carrie's a projector, yes, you don't have a ton of energy either. I feel you. Um, so yeah, the way that you approach the upper limit, and this is how I work with it in my business, this is how I coach my clients to work with it, is really just about expanding your energetic capacity, right? It's shifting your capacity to receive more, to hold more clients. Um, it's shifting your capacity to um, actually be able to launch sustainably and in your pleasure and in your ease. The proportion that we feel safe to feel pleasure in our, and ease in our body is how much we allow for it to be integrated in our launches, right? So um, I don't think I've met 
an entrepreneur to this point that has felt super safe, feeling good. We are wired to be in the hard. We're wired to build our businesses the hard way. We're wired to be more comfortable with our pain and our suffering than we are with our pleasure and our ease. So it's actually a practice of safety in the body to even expand that. Um, and we'll talk about that in day two and three. But really the upper limit, and this is why in the, in the journal that you received, um, why I just asked you felt sense questions, because this is super important for you to know of what that is in your body right now. It's important for you to know what your fear feels like, ego-based fear. It's important for you to know what safety feels like in your body. So when I feel safe, where do I feel that in my body and what does it feel like? It's important for you to know what trust feels like in your body. When I trust, where do I feel it in my body? Yeah, what does it feel like? And it's important for you to also know where your growth edge is. What does your growth edge feel like? Um, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of quotations out in the personal development world. Being on your growth edge is what helps you grow. This is kind of the upper limit. Um, you, the more you can exist on your growth edge in your business, the more that that energetic capacity is going to expand. So this means, this means in your healing, what are you really uncomfortable facing within yourself? What part of yourself do you reject the most? What are the things that you avoid the most in your healing? Those are the things you have to turn towards in order to expand your upper limit. And the more you can do that in your healing, the more you actually see your nervous system and your business following suit, right? So there's a direct proportion that I see with facing those things and seeing the upper limit expanding for receiving in your business. This applies to investment in your business. Am I on my growth edge with my investments? Or am I just investing in these like really small informational things but not seeing the growth that I want? So where is your growth edge with your investment? And everyone's growth edge is gonna be different with investment. And so what does growth edge feel like in your body? Usually it feels like excitement and fear together. It's normal to feel fear on your growth edge because you're stepping out of what your system currently considers is comfortable for you. And this isn't about being in your growth edge all the time because that is an overload for your system. I just want to clarify that. Um, it's about being on your growth edge and then settling into that growth edge, letting your nervous system feel safe there and then going into another growth edge. And this is how you expand your upper limit in a sustainable way. So um, what is your upper limit, your growth edge with pricing, with what you charge? The majority of women that I talk to are undercharging for their services and they actually don't feel good about what they charge. They're like, I think that this is what people can pay me versus this is what actually feels in resonance, what feels good in my body for people to pay me. Your, your body does not lie. And this is actually how I see women burning themselves out in their business because they're charging very low amounts and they cannot even hold the people that they already have. And so they're burning their nervous system out. The, when you charge in resonance with your body, and that price has been different for me at every stage in my business, right? That's gonna shift with time. But like when you charge in resonance with your body, with what feels good, you're going to feel nurtured. You're going to feel expansive and overflowing. You're going to support your clients even more abundantly in that space. Like this works both ways. It's not just about what you're receiving, but it's also about what you're giving to them. They receive better care when you are also feeling nurtured, right? It's an exchange. And so I highly recommend you think about what's my growth edge with my pricing and money and receiving. 
So it's through being on this growth edge that you continue to expand. If it feels a little bit scary, that's great. That's a good thing if it feels exciting as well. One of the things that I tell people when they invest in my programs, if you feel like you're freezing when you hold my program in your body, and that's actually freezing your nervous system, then do not join. Because when we're in a freeze response, we're actually immobile and we can't move and do. And I want women to feel empowered when they're in my containers. So if they feel fear, but also excitement, then I'm like, yes, yes, let's do it. Let's, let's make this work, right? And so that is always the space that you want to be empowered in, is feeling empowered and safe in your growth edge. And I think for a lot of us, we actually have to practice feeling safe in our growth edge. Um, because we are so conditioned and just like in the fear and like staying there and like being like, if I don't move from this one space, then nothing can hurt me. Then I can't fail. Then I also can't succeed, right? But no one's going to reject me and everyone's still going to love me if I just stay here in this comfortable space, right? And I so hear that. I so hear that parts of your nervous system want that. But you always have to ask yourself, what is the expansive part of me trust here? What is the expansive emotion telling me? And so hold it in your body. Notice what comes up. If there's expansion there and excitement and that bit of fear, then teach your body to feel safe in going for it and being in the growth edge. And so the more that you do that, the more you actually liberate the nervous system. Um, your healing of the nervous system doesn't only have to happen through shadow work. That is a part of what I do. But my goal with any type of shadow work that I do with someone is to help them feel the expansion within the release. Meaning if you can feel, actually feel and accept the expansion feelings in your body, you will expand your upper limit. I have people hang out in ease and pleasure and comfortable like expansive emotions and I have them tap it in slowly to feel it more because that is how the expansion happens that is how you get more money that is how you get more clients that is how your messaging becomes super clear right you are opening this creative channel you are releasing the imprints that are keeping you in fear and welcoming in imprints that are anchoring you into the future self and that is helping you channel Right? Ever since I've done this, my messaging has become so much clearer. I've been doing the same thing for four years, but the way that I talk about it is different. The way that I talk about it is more clear and targeted. right? And so that's all a matter of expanding your upper limit. It relates to everything in your business. Um, I'm just looking at my notes to see if I missed anything. So I highly recommend you tune into the worksheet, figure out what is safety, what is growth edge, what is fear, what is trust in my body, and make your decisions in every area of your life and in your business from that space. And then acknowledge when you actually just need to rest in the growth edge and be there and feel it and let it be comfortable. Let the growth edge be comfortable for you. Um... That feels complete in terms of day one on what I wanted to teach. I want to do a QA. and a um, And before I do a QA, and a I'm going to tell you a little bit about my mastermind container, which is exactly where we do this kind of work. It is for business owners. Um, so it's for people who are one plus years into their business. And we do receiving work in this container. So it is about healing and expanding your nervous system and also anchoring you into soul strategy for your business in particular. So it's a not one size fits you model. It's let's come into your body. Let me help to tune you in to what feels in resonance. Let me help mentor you with what I've seen work and combine the two and allow you to grow your business in resonance with that. Melissa, has been and will be in my mastermind. So Melissa knows what we're talking about. Yes. Um, 
So this is an incredibly powerful container. It is six months and um, we do money healing work and then we do group coaching work. You have support in a community. You have a series of embodiment meditations, other sisters who are on the same path with you. Um, and it's just like one of my favorite containers. So if you hold that container, it's called Magic Weaver Mastermind in your body and you're feeling excitement and a little bit of fear with it, I want you to go ahead and send me a message about it and we can get you into the container. And if you wanna talk about it more, I also have the option for you to book a soul call with me that's in my bio. So if you're like me and you're like intuition based and you, you know like, fuck yeah, this is for me, just message me and I'll get you the details. If you're like, I want to sit with this and have you lead me through in a body experience to help me tune into my truth, we can do that on a soul call and I'm always happy and excited to do that with you. So the link is in my bio for that. Um, I currently have a fast action bonus. So if people um, commit to the container by next week on Wednesday, the 21st, you get an additional thousand dollars off the full price of the mastermind. So um, message me about that. And now we're gonna head into the Q&A and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start a separate live for that. So if you want to ask questions, I actually really, really encourage you to hop on. Let's do some coaching. Let's do some questions about um, what your what came up for you as I was going through this information. It's a lot of information, so I would expect you to have questions. So um, let's finish this live and go on a Q and A round, and I'll be there and see who filters in. So give me two minutes to stop this life and start another one and pop back on. Okay, thank you for being here. Loving you all so much and I'm so excited for day two. Day two, for people who are registered for the event, because it's a receiving day, I also have a gift for you that's gonna be paid for other people, but if you're registered for the event, you get it for free. So you check your email tomorrow or early this morning, whenever you get it, because you're gonna get something, okay? Um, so I'm gonna stop this one and come back on. See you soon.